And here I'm discussing the adrenal gland. It is a, a gland that is located above the kidneys. It is a triangular shaped gland and it is located above the kidneys, right? Above kidneys we have a this gland. This is the adrenal gland, right? Now within the adrenal gland we have the cortex and we have the medulla two areas adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla now adrenal medulla is inside and the cortex is outside we have two adrenal cortex area and we have adrenal medulla area this is kidney and this is the gland, adrenal gland, right? Adrenal gland has two cortex and medulla, right? Outer one is the cortex and the inner one is medulla. In the cortex, we have three zones, right? We have three zones. With the, uh, to remember this, I have studied mnemonic, this mnemonic from US Emily book, GFR, right? From G is zona, Glomerulosa, right? From F, zona fasciculata, and from R, zona reticularis. These are the three zones present in the adrenal cortex, right? Now, these three zones secrete the hormones, different hormones. Zona glomerulosa, first is the zona glomerulosa, it will secrete the salt that is mineral mineralo mineralocorticoid right its function is to maintain the balance in the body that is increase sodium resorption increase potassium secretion from kidney and increase hydrogen secretion right the hormone secreted is aldosterone Wrong. it will maintain all the functions right after this we have the zona fasciculata in zona fasciculata this is the salt and then we have sugar glucocorticoid right and the hormone produced and this is cortisol that is the stress hormone right and zona reticularis in this we have androgens that is a sex hormone androgen that is a sex hormone right remember this in detail it is a very important or very easy to remember we have three zones in zone uh, uh, adrenal cortex glomerulosa zona fasciculata and zona reticularis first we have salt then we have sugar then we have sex hormones in uh, salt by mineralocorticoid it maintains the balance of sodium potassium and hydrogen in our body and the hormones secreted aldosterone which used to maintain the uh, all these uh, things then fasciculated glucocorticoid it is a sugar hormone that is a cortisol it is mostly the stress hormone and then we have reticulates which is a sex hormone right after this all we'll study aldo, uh, the function of aldosterone in detail aldosterone that is secreted by a zona glomerulosa right aldosterone it is regulated by angiotensin 2 right a regulated by angiotensin 2 which is run by renin angiotensin renin angiotensin system now what is renin angiotensin system whenever there is a decreased blood volume decreased blood volume right there is a decreased perfusion pressure there is a decreased renal perfusion pressure right then this led to increased renin secretion increase renin secretion when the decreased renal perfusion pressure renin secretion is increased right this renin enzyme then convert renin enzyme then convert angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 then angiotensin 1 is converted by angiotensin 2 by ACE angiotensin converting enzyme right after this we have 
and it is consumed in angiotensin 2 behave and this act on zona glomerulosa it act on zona glomerulosa and led to the secretion of increased aldosterone secretion to maintain the balance of sodium potassium in our blood right this is how aldosterone works whenever there is a decreased blood volume or dec decreased renal perfusion pressure when it is secreted renin then led to the formation of angiotensin 2 by the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 by uh, angiotensin converting enzyme angiotensin 2 then act on the glo zona glomerulosa and led to the release of aldosterone right now aldosterone then go and led to the increased sodium resorption to restore the now aldosterone causes increased sodium sodium resorption so extracellular volume is balanced right this is all for our angiotensin aldosterone that is secreted from the glomerul zona glomerulosa of the adrenal cortex after this we have uh, glucocorticoids uh, yes glucocorticoids uh, that is secreted zona fasciculata zona fasciculata that secrete cortisol to remember the function of cortisol it has a lot of function so i also remember this by a mnemonic a big fig cord from cord it's a very big thing cord so cord remember a big fig these are the, all the things that are going to increase and these are going to decrease a from a we have appetite and um, uh, cortisol will increase our appetite functions uh, functions when there is increased appetite increase blood pressure cortisol increase blood pressure it increases the insulin resistance it increases insulin resistance it increases gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis right now it will going to decrease it will decrease f f is a fibroblast activity fibroblast activity from i we have immune system it decreases the immune system immune response we have decreased number of neutrophils it will decrease the inflammatory fibula which is a uh, bone formation big fib decrease bone formation bone formation so there is osteoporosis big fib this is fib right remember this all is it's just we have to memorize or ratify it right now comes the this is all for the uh, zona fasciculata but is a second layer of adrenal medulla then we have the sex hormones and then i'll discuss about the adrenal medulla hormones adrenal medulla in adrenal medulla it is derived from the neural crust and uh, adrenal cortex derived from the mesoderm right we have chromophin cells in adrenal medulla secrete catecholamines Catecholamines, means right so we have epinephrine and we have norepinephrine right adrenal medulla it is direct acting agonist adrenergic agonist adrenergic when there is epinephrine and norepinephrine we call it adrenergic right it is synthesized from tyrosine tyrosine derivatives in size from tyrosine or amino acids amino acids it helps in sympathetic stimulation sympathetic stimulation when there is a fight or flight condition fight or flight condition right this is all for adrenal gland i hope you understand it